I found the depth of your past is an indication of the height of your future. When construction workers are going to build a big skyscraper, they first have to dig down deep and lay a foundation. The taller the building, the deeper the foundation. You may have gone through or be in an unfair situation, lost a loved one, friend betrayed you, dealing with the sickness. Be easy to settle there and get discouraged. But you have to realize God is going down deep because he has something big in your future. You may be low right now, but God's getting you in position to rise higher. There are new levels in front of you, new levels of joy, new levels of influence, new relationships, new opportunities right in your future. Now, don't do like she did and let what you've been through become your identity. Don't become known as the person that lost a loved one, the person that had cancer, the person that went through a divorce. That's not who you are. That's what you went through. You are a child of the Most High God, created in His image with a destiny to fulfill. Your name is not sorrow, sadness, defeat, mediocrity. Your name is victory. Your name is joy. Your name is favor. Your name is hope. Your name is bright future. No matter what life deals you, you got to have the attitude, I am in it to win it. I may have been through a lot, but I've come too far to stop now. I'm not going to get bitter. I'm not going to live my life negative. I'm going to keep moving forward knowing that what's in my future is greater than what's in my past. We wouldn't be here tonight if one woman didn't do exactly what I'm talking about. Joyce didn't get off to a good start in life. She had a lot of bitter ingredients to deal with. She could have easily let life change her name. She could be sitting around in self-pity, discouraged, a chip on her shoulder, never touched all of us, but instead she just kept moving forward, letting God make her and mold her. You know what happened? God began to add new ingredients to her life. Long came a young man named Dave Meyer. She thought he was the sugar. He ended up being the baking soda that helped her rise to a new level. Look at Joyce today, a history maker, a world changer. She was low, but God was getting her prepared to go high. Listen, God is not going to let one event or one person ruin your life. All right. I cry real easy, y'all, but God is not going to let a disappointment, a bad break, a lousy childhood, a, an injustice to stop your destiny. All the forces of darkness cannot stop what God has ordained. You know, but now, you're going to have to do your part, just like George Joyce did. You've got to fight off the self-pity, fight off the resentment, fight off the bitterness. But if you will keep moving forward, the right ingredients will show up. The psalmist put it this way, when you keep your hope in the Lord, you will never be disappointed. Certainly, we'll have temporary setbacks temporary disappointments, but if you keep hoping, keep trusting, keep honoring God, you're going to see how he's going to somehow, some way, work it all together for your good. You won't be permanently disappointed.